Every single day, we are sending and receiving digital communications online on a regular basis. We are talking to people, sending files, sending data, sending sensitive information. And the thing that we don't always ask is, are we doing this securely? Are we sending information securely online? Let's have a conversation about it. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. My goal is to help to alleviate your cybersecurity struggles for people who are early in their cybersecurity career or people who are just interested in cybersecurity as a whole. Today, we are talking about sending communications, data, information online, but securely. So let's start off with our first one. Let's talk about how to do this. And I desire for you to be able to implement these things in your own life so that you can increase your own cybersecurity hygiene. So let's start with our first one. Let's talk about VPNs, virtual private networks. This technology helps to create secure connections over less secure network environments and network systems. I mean, think about it. Everybody has went to more of a hybrid slash remote type of role. Many people are working from their houses, working from their homes, working from coffee shops, right? These are less secure environments in comparison to working from a business environment or a company business um, office. One thing that when we're at home, sometimes we don't even change the default router for our administrative access to our routers and devices. So yes, this is a very insecure environment. Your home can be a very insecure cyber environment. But you know, even if we're working from coffee shops, coffee shops at like a Starbucks or something, we can be very much so vulnerable to all types of cybersecurity attacks just by connecting to their public wireless. So having a VPN or a virtual private network helps to bring a secure communication method. And then when I say secure, what do I mean? I'm talking about an encrypted, an encrypted communication between yourself, your machine and the internet. So say for instance, you're sitting in a Starbucks or just a local coffee shop and you sign into the local the guest wireless. If you don't have a VPN or if you don't have any type of other security between yourself and the guest Wi-Fi, then you are operating in an insecure manner. What a virtual private network would allow you to do is to establish a secure and encrypted tunnel between your machine and the internet and whatever you're accessing on the internet so that people who might be hackers, people who might have ill intent for the information that you're sharing or accessing on the internet, that they are not able to do things like man in the middle attacks, meaning that they get in between you and whatever you're trying to access over the internet. So that is one thing that's very important to sharing and communicating online is having a virtual private network established on your machine before you sign into any insecure environments like your home or like a coffee shops, guest Wi-Fi. The second one that we want to talk about is email. We send emails every single day to all types of people, all types of environments, right? We might send work emails. We might send personal emails, but in many cases in these emails, we're sharing sensitive information. We might be sharing credit card information. We might be sharing tax information with our CPAs and um, accountants, or maybe we might be sharing sensitive information as it concerns uh, legal matters or even health information. So we definitely want to have these secure in some way, shape or form before we send it out to the internet for anybody to be able to see. So one thing that's important is that you can increase your email security, right? Because right now, many of us are using the very common email providers. Right. I'm not going to mention them. I don't want to put any uh, slander on anyone's name, but the most common ones do not use encryption before they send them to the mail servers. That's one thing that happens. One thing that you want to look at for an email provider is end to end encryption. So using some products like ProtonMail or HushMail, these encrypt the data, encrypt your emails before they send them to the mail server provider and the only individuals that are able to see the data is you and the send or the receiver of the information. Now, when common ones in common email providers, they encrypt at the server. So you send it unencrypted, it gets encrypted at whatever that mail server is, and then it goes to whoever the receiver is with, like I mentioned, with products like ProtonMail or HushMail, it encrypts before sending, goes to the server, and the only individual or the only entity that can decrypt 
is that of the receiver. So if you want to increase your email security, increase um, the security of the data that you're sending across the wire, across the internet, you can use end-to-end -end encryption um, when you're using email. So that's our second one. The third one that we want to talk about are products, right? Cloud-based products that are specific to sharing data within teams and businesses. Thank you to NordPass for sponsoring today's video. And on the subject of sharing information securely online, I think that NordPass brings a great solution. One thing that's very important within a business environment is your ability to share sensitive company and business information. What if you can do this securely, share credentials, payment card information, and other sensitive company data with a series of clicks. I think that this is something that will very much so help in stopping bottlenecks. You know, people, especially seeing that it's summer, people are going out on vacation, people are leaving the office, and sometimes they leave with that sensitive company information. And I think NordPass gives a great solution. Let's go over an example here. One thing I really like is the secure notes feature. So here you can click on secure note, you can add a particular title, you can put whatever you wanna put in there, like a credit card or a password, add it to a project, save it, and then you can go ahead and share it with particular individuals. Where when you're sharing, say for instance, you get a message from a colleague, you said, hey, yeah, I can surely share it with you. You can go ahead to that project, click on the information that's been shared, and you can share it with anybody that is within that project who have those rights and credentials. I mean, just a very easy and simple way to share information over the internet securely with colleagues, business partners, even family and friends. You know, if you wanna see NordPass in action, um, you can click on the link here, which is HTTPS, nordpass.com slash security nord. You can put in my security code, security nord, um, for you to activate a free three month trial. So you can try this thing out, right? You can go ahead and buckle in and see if NordPass is something that will help you share secure information online. So today we talked about three different things in order to help us to securely transfer data over the internet. One, we started off talking about VPNs, virtual private networks that help with encrypting our data over networks, encrypting our data as you might sit at a coffee shop, encrypting data as you might be sitting right from home with your insecure router. The second one that we talked about was increasing our email security by utilizing products that do end-to-end -end encryption, things like ProtonMail and Hushmail that encrypt before it sends to the popular email servers. And the only individuals that can see it are you and whoever the sender is. And the third one that we talked about was NordPass, which is an actual product that has features that allow you to share information, sensitive company information, securely between whoever you desire to add to your team or whoever you desire to add to particular groups within the tool. Thank you again for watching Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And hopefully one of your struggles have been alleviated where you could possibly add some of these secure methods for transferring data and communications over the internet. Thank you and come back again for more and more of this type of content.